Hello, my name is Ann Baldwin and I am the Career Tech and College Readiness Coordinator for Westerville City Schools. I'm excited to share with you today the many benefits and opportunities that are available through College Credit Plus or CCP. I'm also going to share with you nuts and bolts of the program and possible consequences of underperformance so you can make the decision about whether or not College Credit Plus is the best fit for you. College Credit Plus is an opportunity for qualified students in grades 7 through 12 to take college courses before high school graduation. A qualified student will be a student who not only places into college coursework, but also demonstrates the skills needed to be successful in that coursework, such as independence and time management. College Credit Plus covers all dual credit opportunities, including college courses that are offered on the college campus, at the high school, or online. When you enroll in College Credit Plus coursework, you are enrolling in a true college course. It is not a simulation or practice, and these courses do differ from your high school classes. College courses will generally require more independent thinking, longer writing assignments, and fewer assignments or homework will be used to determine your final grade in the course. In a college course, a parent or guardian serves as a mentor for that student. The college views the student as an independent decision maker and therefore the conversation about the student's performance is always going to take place between the student and professor and college grades are now available in power school. The standard rule for a college course is that for every hour you spend in class or lecture, you will want to plan to spend two to three hours outside of class to prepare. That means when you're looking at your really busy schedule and determining how many or what classes you want to register for, you'll want to consider what time you have available and schedule accordingly. There are many benefits to participating in College Credit Plus, including having the opportunity to explore your post-secondary interests to find out if that major or program you thought you were going to love is really what you thought it was, an opportunity to enroll in coursework that may not be available at your high school, exposure to college faculty and college expectations while you still have a lot of support from family and teachers. College credit may transfer easily and that can result in a shortened time to degree or having more time in your college schedule to participate in an internship or study abroad program. And last but not least, you can earn an industry credential or be well on your way to earning one. We do have one of these opportunities currently in Westerville at our high schools through our health pathway. Students can earn a clinical lab assistant certificate and you can get more information about this opportunity through your school counselor. Students can earn up to 30 college credit hours max each academic year. The College Credit Plus academic year runs summer to spring semester. So the up, this upcoming summer semester 2021 is part of your 21-22 school year. To calculate how many College Credit Plus hours you're eligible for each school year, take the number of high school credits you're enrolled in or scheduled for, multiply that by three, and subtract that number from 30. For example, if you're enrolled in five high school credits, you're eligible to earn up to 15 college credit hours, five times three, and subtracted from 30. There is no cost for families to participate in College Credit Plus, and textbooks are included. Textbooks do remain the property of the school district and will need to be returned at the end of the semester. Parking and transportation are not included in College Credit Plus, and if your college requires a parking pass, that cost is your responsibility. Successful completion of College Credit Plus courses earns a student credit on both their high school and college transcripts. On the high school transcript, the college course grade issued by the college crosswalks as an AP weighted credit and college courses that are three credit hours or more will be worth one high school credit. Two credit hour classes are worth 0.67 high school credit and one credit hour classes are worth 0.33 high school credit. College Credit Plus grades are received directly from the college and transcribed on your high school transcript. So you won't see the grades in PowerSchool until the end of the semester and you'll find them listed under historical grades. Please note that FERPA does apply to college coursework and students are expected to have conversations directly with their professors or instructors about their performance and professors will not share academic information with parents or guardians. I recommend you asking your student throughout the semester to pull up their course progress in Blackboard, Canvas, or other college system to share with you how they are progressing in the course. Student athletes can participate in College Credit Plus coursework and those college courses do count towards eligibility with a factor of two. 
you'll most likely need to share your college grades with your athletic director at some point during the quarter to confirm eligibility. If you have a 504 IEP, you must register with the college's Office of Disability Services to receive accommodations in your college courses. These documents and any approved high school accommodations do not automatically transfer to the college course, including those college courses available at your high school. Those class, college classes available at the high school still follow all college policies and procedures, even though they take place in our buildings. While there are a lot of exciting opportunities in College Credit Plus, we want to make sure you understand that there are consequences for underperforming in the program. There's a financial obligation to reimburse the district if you fail or do not complete a course. If a student's GPA falls below a 2.0, he or she is placed on College Credit Plus probation, and if that GPA doesn't come up, you may face College Credit Plus dismissal. Students who fail or withdraw often may also impact their future financial aid negatively because you're not making satisfactory academic progress in a college program. We want to help you be successful in College Credit Plus and for it to be a great experience. You have a lot of resources at your fingertips when you participate in College Credit Plus, including a college academic advisor, your high school counselor, as well as free tutoring and support services through the college. You want to make sure that if you find yourself struggling at the beginning of a semester, you immediately connect with your professor and support resources so we can help you be successful. You may take College Credit Plus courses in subject areas that will satisfy graduation requirements. For example, we have students who will take Composition 1 as one of their four English high school credits required for graduation. If you take a college course instead of a high school course that has an end of course exam in English, math, and science, you are still expected by the state to take those end of course exams. Courses must be college level, non-remedial, and non-religious to qualify for the College Credit Plus program. The first 15 hours you enroll in must be considered a level one course. These courses are highly transferable and you can find a list of level one courses on each college website or a link to those on our district's College Credit Plus website. Enrollment in college courses is not guaranteed and you will need to schedule around your high school courses. This is often the most difficult for fall semester as colleges and universities schedule their courses in the summer before you receive your high school schedule. My advice to students and families is to go ahead and register for the college classes you would like to take, maybe typically putting them at the beginning or end of a day, and then work with your high school counselor in the fall to make adjustments to your high school schedule as needed. Please note that sometimes you may have to make a choice between a college and high school course. We're excited to be able to offer 15 college courses at each of our high schools. These courses are taught by Westerville staff who are adjunct faculty and facilitators with Columbus State Community College. These courses are scheduled alongside your high school classes and you will request these courses during your high school registration process. There are three steps to participate in College Credit Plus and we're going to review them quickly here. Additional details about each of these steps can be found on our College Credit Plus video, How to Participate, found on our College Credit Plus website. Step one is to be eligible for the program, and there are three parts to this step. First, you're required to participate in an information session, which you're doing right now by watching this video. Next, students and families must complete an intent form that you will access at the end of this video. And lastly, students need to score college ready in English, reading, and or math. This can be accomplished through taking the ACT, SAT, or for Columbus State, the AccuPlacer. More details about meeting college readiness benchmarks can also be found in our How to Participate video. The second step to participate in College Credit Plus is to be admitted to the college or university you plan to attend. So you do need to apply to the College Credit Plus program at a college or university. You may apply to more than one institution if you would like. Be sure to pay attention to deadlines as each college or university will have their own application and timeline. The last step to participate in College Credit Plus is to register for courses, and more information about this process is also detailed in our How to Participate video. As you take in all of this information and make the decision about whether or not College Credit Plus is a good fit for you, consider these questions. Is this a right fit for me based on my strengths and goals? How will these courses transfer? Courses may transfer differently to other institutions. 
recommend checking out transferology.com to explore the portability of the credits you're planning to take. Finally, does my schedule fit the college schedule? College courses follow the institution's guidelines, including dates and session, which means you may be attending your college class during your high school spring break. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your school counselor or college academic advisor. You can also reach out to my office or visit the Ohio Board of Regents FAQ page for College Credit Plus using the contact information on the screen. You've made it to the end of our College Credit Plus Nuts and Bolts video. To complete the electronic content form, please visit the website listed there, http colon backslash backslash tiny.cc backslash WCS CCP intent. Note that WCS CCP is in all caps. You'll want to complete this form by May 1st, 2021. This is an extended deadline set by the state. Typically, the deadline for intent forms is in April. I would encourage you to get this in sooner than later, so that is one to-do item that is checked off your list. And I encourage you to send or complete an intent form if you have any interest whatsoever in taking a college course next year through CCP. Completing the intent form does not obligate you to participate in the program. However, if you do not have an intent form on file this spring and you change your mind next year, you will not be eligible for College Credit Plus funding. For additional information on how to participate in College Credit Plus, please watch our second video that can be found on our district's College Credit Plus website by visiting the website listed there or searching College Credit Plus at wcsoh.org and reach out to your school counselor. Thank you.